All right, what is up, YouTube? We are back at it with yet again another anime live action video for you guys. As today, we are going to be talking about the Gachamon, aka Battle of the Planets live action movie that is coming from the Russo brothers. You know, the guys that did the Avengers films, Infinity War, and Endgame, they actually also did Civil War and Winter Soldier. But yeah, the Russo brothers are going to be making a live action film of Gachamon, or also known as Battle of the Planets. And I found that very interesting when I first heard about this. So yeah, I kind of wanted to make this video to let you guys know that this was happening. And I also wanted to make this video to let you guys know where the film is at right now, because although there hasn't been that much information on it released yet. The story of how this film is coming about is pretty interesting and the way that the Russo brothers are talking about it is also pretty interesting. So yeah, I've got two articles here I want to go over to let you guys know a little bit more about what I'm talking about. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so the first one says here, director Joe Russo stated in an interview with film news website Collider that his and his brother Anthony Russo's planned adaptation of the Gachamon, aka Battle of the Planets, television anime series will not adapt the anime's story, but will instead center on a group of genetically altered kids who are involved in a space war. Joe Russo noted that the production is still trying to figure out what the new mythology is. The Russo brothers announced at San Diego Comic-Con last July that they were developing the project at their AGBO studios at the time. They did not say if they will direct the project, nor could they say if the project will be animated or live action. However, they said that if they do direct, it will be in live action. So yeah, that's kind of what I meant. Like, oh, this is kind of interesting. They were playing around with, you know, the idea even at first. But in the next article, they go a little bit deeper into the making of the project. So yeah, in this one, it says Joe Russo offers an update on the film adaptation of Battle of the Planets. The sibling tag team responsible for Avengers Infinity War and Endgame, among others, were turning their attention to another group of spandex clad champions by adapting the 1970s 80s anime Battle of the Planets into a live action movie. Now the brothers are offering a small update, but it sounds as though this project is still a few years off. Speaking to Collider, Joe said, quote, we're in what we call the development phase. The way we work, we do what we call IP incubation, and it is a protracted process. We have to take something like Battle of the Planets take it through a filter, find out what it is we loved most about the show growing up, reinterpret it. Because it is not going to be an exact adaptation of the series, it's going to be our own story to tell surrounding a group of genetically altered kids who are involved in a space war. He elaborated, adding, that is the approach we take, and that can take months of gestating and trying to figure out what the new mythology is. Then we commit that to a Bible, and from that Bible we do some artwork as exploration. Once we have artwork which we're inspired by, we write the script. So we're at the Bible phase of Battle of the Planets. And then the rest of the article goes into a little bit more information about what Battle of the Planets is. And I'll read some of it just for the guys that aren't even aware of what it is exactly. Uh, the cartoon that Americans know as Battle of the Planets was originally released in 1972 in Japan as Science Ninja Team Gachamon. Five orphans were augmented with cybernetic implants and equipped with high-tech weaponry and vehicles in an effort to halt the alien invasion from the planet Galactic. The series was created by Tatsuo Yoshida and Tatsunoko Studios. After the success of Star Wars in 1977, Sandy Frake Entertainment imported Gachamon and reconfigured it for American audiences, emphasizing the science fiction elements and giving it the name Battle of the Planets, which sounds vaguely like Star Wars. More violent imagery was edited out and replaced by newly animated segments featuring the robot narrator Seven Zark Seven, who looked like R2-D2 and spoke like C-3PO. Seven Zark Seven was also responsible responsible for inserting lines like luckily the entire city was evacuated before it was destroyed or these airplanes and tanks were all piloted by robots so no one was killed when they exploded. Ah, I see, I see. Later seasons of Gachamon were adapted for the US and other countries under the names G-Force, Guardians of Space, and Saban's Eagle Riders. But as the popularity of anime increased globally, and the fan base grew up. Most fans have embraced subtitled versions of the original Japanese series versus the sanitized US releases. The original Gachamon has remained popular in Japan and new versions have been released periodically over the decades. The most recent Gachamon Crowds was released in 2013 but bore almost no resemblance to the classic anime. 
also in 2013, a live action movie was released in Japan, but was not well received. So yeah, that's pretty much all the news we have as of now uh, for the making of this live action movie. And to be honest, there's not much else that I can really say. I mean, I'm very excited and, you know, it sounds like these filmmakers are really inspired and really dedicated uh, to make a really good film with this series. So, you know, I'm really excited to see what they do uh, when the film eventually gets made. But again, there's not that much we have to go off of. There's no cast members revealed. There's no story plot really revealed either so but you know with a filmmaking duo especially a sibling filmmaking duo seems like they typically would like to keep a lot of the creation process under wraps so you know with what they gave us was pretty interesting and i'm kind of trusting them to make something pretty good by the time they are more comfortable revealing more news and updates about the project but yeah what do you guys think about this were you even aware of gachaman before the video and are you excited to see what the Russo brothers do with this new live action film. Let me know in the comments below, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already, that helps me out a ton. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see y'all in the next video.